Hello and welcome. I am Zinder and this is episode 4 of my Minecraft Let's Play. And we're back to where I was, where I left off at the end of episode 3, down inside of the uh, trap I was making. Um, I'm going to try not to go f quite as far on time. I want to try and limit them to 15 minutes. So I'm going to see how much I can accomplish in a short period of time with this. And, well, I have these iron pickaxes, so that should really help out with things. But I am out of torches. Again. I should just solve this problem. Make a full stack of torches. Right, like that. Now, this is pretty simple, pretty straightforward. I don't know if it actually makes a difference, but I know at one point there was something about how if you used glass it would cause currents and make this work better. I'm not sure if that still... I don't, I don't know if that was ever actually true. I don't... I'm not entirely sure if that if it was, if it still is. I do know that... I'm going to see what happens if I don't do that here. So, I'm going to get this stuff all set up, trying to figure out what exactly I'm doing at this very second, because while I know what I'm doing, I'm not entirely convinced that I know what I'm doing. I do know that I know pretty much what I plan to do, and this... It... Uh, it's, I don't know really how to explain it. It's not like it really needs explaining, but, I mean, it's fairly standard, but, well, I guess standard by my terms. It depends on how you, what you see about these videos, but I'm going to, because of the spider spawner normally, well, if you just have it, let, let me set this up and show you. If you have this set up, to where it's two out each side. Sometimes there's a dead zone in the middle, and I think there's still a dead zone in the very middle if you do it like this, but it reduces the dead zone to the exact middle. So the entire goal around this is to try and prevent the dead zone from existing at all, although I don't think you can, but it will reduce it to a very little margin. Um... I need to count this and figure out how many blocks this is going. Looks like it's 8 to there. If I were to do it in that back corner. However, it doesn't need to start there. I can actually start... Wait. Okay. I'm going to make this go down one more. This is going to be where the drops come out, and then this is going to be the pathway down. Um, have, I do know that if you're sitting in water, so like if I were to ever sit and try and AFK in this in order to gain items, if you're sitting here and the water comes to your feet, it will drain your food bar if you're sitting there like that. So I'm probably going to put a sign right there, actually right there, so that way it's not on either side. Um, so that way I'm not standing in water, but the items will still come to me. I also really should put like actual stairs in here, but I'll worry about that when I get to that. Um, I am going to need water, and I am going to need to fix this. Uh, oops. Now, the water is going to be over here on this side. Why I put those there instead of finishing this up, I will never know. Ow. Fall damage. Yeah, that's safe. Let me just put this here. Um, I know what I'm doing, I swear. And that iron is taunting me. I have to get this iron. Otherwise, I'm never going to get it. Yeah, and apparently it was just two blocks. 
I need to get the infinite spring set up. And I'm going to put this in... Whoops. I'm going to put this in here so that way... I'm going to line that back spot right there with the water. And I'm going to do this so it doesn't pour through and wipe out my torches just yet. Because I really don't want it to do that. And my torches are not where I normally have them. That's better. Whoops. Lost inside of a small box. I am just amazing, aren't I? Right, I know what I was doing. I was going to go get my buckets. Except for... Somehow I'm... Actually, I'm not lost. I remember I came down through here and saw the quarter of the spawner. I really need to set up some kind of signs or something, because I am going to get repeatedly lost unless I do something about it. Apparently I have a large amount of iron just sitting in here. I'm going to throw that in there. I am going to eventually set up some kind of organization for all of this. There's going to be more chests. Well, there's a really good chance I'm not going to keep this as a permanent establishment. Um... But I do plan to... I apparently cannot think of what I was trying to say there. I do plan to actually build a real house to live in. But as it currently stands, that's not my current plan for right there. And I know I blocked off some water somewhere. I'm pretty sure I did it with dirt. But I can't seem to figure out where it was. I know there was two places. And I can't find either one of them. So, that's not good. Okay, I'm not going to worry about that. I'm going to just go out, find some water, and use that as my source. In the meantime... Well, there's not going to be a whole lot of in the meantime. That, that's pretty much what I'm going to do. And I don't really like to... Whoops, wrong door. I don't really like to cut things, so there's probably going to be a bunch of boring walking unless somebody really, really doesn't want me to. Well, that's really interesting looking. No, oh, the joys of a snow biome. Oh, come on now. Whoa! Snow zombie. Ooh, skeleton. Oh, god damn it. Okay. Well, it's in the middle of the night, and I just died right outside my place because I wanted to get some water. And there I was sprinting again. There's another creeper directly in front of me, a spider to my left. If I was standing in the middle, I could almost make a song out of it, or more of a parody of an existing song, but we're not going to go there. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, well, other than I guess you just don't know what I'm talking about. I'm not exactly great for conversation either, apparently. Master of redundancy. Um, at least I've made this run so many times that I know where I'm going. And I... Wow. I just got footage of a sheep eating grass. That's kind of interesting, actually. And apparently one of the uh, texture changes for pigs on... Pigs with this... Uh, the the HD patcher mixed with this texture pack has them being covered in mud. And chickens are apparently ducks. And laid me an egg, which I'm going to take. Um, this looks really cool, actually. Like, I was originally trying to avoid a snow biome. I ma remade the map a couple of times, actually, trying to avoid snow biomes before I actually started the Let's Play, but I really like this, the way snow looks. Well, the, the snowing looks with this texture pack. Um, gonna grab some water. Apparently, I screwed that piece of water up. And apparently, my stuff was littered everywhere. If I would have been standing in the right spot, I could have made him walk into that. Um, there's a really good chance I'm going to at least make some kind of cheap cheap uh, cactus defense at some point, but 
And that's once I actually get things fully established as well. And I hear a zombie. Um. Okay, I'm gonna have to make an infinite spring here, and nothing's in the right spot. I hear noises, and there's a dark spot directly up there. And since it's above my trap, I really feel the need to make this dark go away. And I should try to, you know, make it so I don't try and do jumps that I can't make. Just gonna organize my inventory here real quick. It's got all screwed up. There's a lot of gravel here. That's actually... It, it has uses. I should be collecting it. But I'm not. I don't know if anyways... If any of you have actually seen the changes that are becoming... That are going to be coming in... Um, 1.2. At least what's up so far on the... We're going to call it a pre-release. Because that's what it was called before it went full release. Um, zombies are going to get a little bit more intelligent. Uh, not really enough to actually make them threatening in comparison. But th they are going to get a little bit more intelligent, which is going to be interesting. And there's going to be new biomes as well. And there's also going to be uh, wolf breeding. Well, not new biomes, but one new biome. A jungle biome. Um, so we'll have to go find one of those. Maybe, I don't know when that's going to be coming out, but if it's going to be soon-ish, I'm probably going to try to avoid exploring too far, or I can just substitute by going a distance in the nether to get farther away, which I'll get to the nether eventually. It's going to be very slow, probably, due to the fact that I'm not planning on using any, uh, any branch mining to find diamonds. And on a side note, if you're wondering why I'm running back here, it's because I need to make signs. I need to make signs because of the setup I have going. And that's probably going to be way too much for signs, but... Let me think here. I need... Eight signs. That's going to take up a large chunk of my wood. I'm going to have to go get some more. And for some odd reason, I was completely neglecting that middle block. I'm going to go back and set up these signs now. I don't know why I keep on getting so partly lost while moving through here. I think I'm going to fix that using something. I don't know, maybe I'll make like cobblestone slab passageway. Oh, that's not right. Got to take these off of here now. Ow. Well, I'm... Oh, I'm trapped in here. I'm going to use gravel to get out. Because I can easily take it back out once I go down below. So I'm not overly concerned about that. That was supposed to be like that. This... I want to say this isn't uniform, but... I can never make it uniform, because the spawner will screw with it. Ow. With the way that water normally moves, it'll go eight blocks on a flat surface before stopping. But I don't want it to go eight blocks, so I'm going to block it off with these signs. And if you're wondering why I have this set up like this, it's because the spiders are going to get pushed over here. And then they're going to end up either in the hole, or they'll end up there, or there. And then those two passageways of water will force them to move down in there where I want them. The they'll fall a little distance in the between the small current from the down moving water and the fall and then as well as them piling on top of each other it will cause them to slowly crush each other into the water, making it impossible for them to escape. I should oh these are gonna be in the way. 
I'm not sure how I'm going to get out of here. I'm just going to have to break one of these blocks and worry about it later. Down here is where the other four signs are going to go. I want to put those in before I put in the water for sure. What am I doing? Doing things wrong. Place the stone sword on my bar at the moment. The reason why I'm doing things wrong is because if they're not, they don't have a reason to move out, I can't really guarantee that they're going to force a current out. So I'm realizing that's too dark for the moment. I'm putting those there to make sure there's enough of a current to guarantee that they'll get, the items will get pulled out. So now that I've done that, I should be able to put the water in. And then hopefully not drown myself. That would be very bad. Not not by standing here. I if I drowned myself doing that, there'd be a serious problem. Um, the reason why I'm worried about drowning myself is when I'm working in the spider spawner. But that's part of the reason why I did as much as I could before I started to begin with. And it's looking like this video has already ran longer than I intended, but since it's already longer than I wanted it to be, I'm just going to substitute by continuing what I was doing. Now that I think about it, I wonder if I can place a half slab there and still gain the items by standing on it, of course. Here I am, being lost again, constantly. I, I know where I'm going, and then all of a sudden I just decide I'm going the wrong way, and turn around, and then realize I was going the right way, and turn back around. And now I'm in the wrong, uh, wrong thing. I'm definitely thinking that I'm going to make a half-slab passageway through here, so that way I can easily keep track of where I'm going, and it'll add a little bit of aesthetics to it. Oh, that, that looks like it'll probably work. Guess the only way to find out is set this up so there's no light back here for one. Any light back here can potentially be transferred up to the spiders. And I can't make it up this. There we go. Just do a little bit of block shenanigans. Make this uh, taller, make sure nothing spawns back in here. Oh, come on. Last thing I want is things randomly spawning. I plan to have it set up in a way where it's not going to be a problem, but I'd still rather have them not spawn back in here if I can help it. That technically could stay like that, but... I'm going to consider that in the way if I tried. Okay. I'm just going to take that water out. Now, I want this set up in a way where I'm not going to be able to go forwards. Hopefully that will work. Oh, uh-oh. I hit my torch button, but I had slabs there. Now, the only thing I can do now is take the torches off, block up the wall, if I can make it over there. And then, uh should start spawning, and if it works, I should hear them start drowning after a short while, and uh, I'm going to stop the video right before we find that out. Such a tease, I know. Hi, Mr. Spider. I don't want you. Go away. I know you want me, but I don't want you. Oh, and I left light down inside there. Go away. I will stab you with my pickaxe. Oh, there's... 
Oh god. Oh, this is bad. Oh, this is very bad. Oh. Well. At least we'll be able to find out if my items are going to come out in the spot that I intend them to. Because, yeah. But, uh, I'm gonna end that episode here. This is the end of episode four. And see you again in the next episode. We'll see, uh, how the thing plays out. And yes, there's a zombie chasing me. We'll deal with that at the beginning of the next episode.